<clears throat> hey, what's up, Carter? Um, this is a, vil a video on uh, the Red Hat Chili Peppers Californication. Pretty cool song. Easy intro. Um, I'm just using a pick. And uh, starts out with A minor and an F. And there's a bass part that we'll play on guitar, but I'm pretty sure it's just the bass player. So it starts off with A string. It's an A minor chord. A string, D string, and then open B, and then first fret. And then the bass is doing this. We can do it as guitar players, but don't do it if you have a bass player. Don't step on his part. So it's doing a little hammer on pull off. Second fret, and then, and then I would pick the open D and then hammer on the second fret of the D. So, and then pull off. And then to the third fret of the A, hitting the C note, so. And then to the F, and it's just three notes. Your first fret on the E string, third fret on the A, open G, second fret on the G. Now it alternates for going back to the A. Sometimes it goes um, open D to the third fret of the A, so D to C. Or other times it's just going third fret on the D and then open on the D. So it's alternating every other one. So, so if you're starting off... next time we just did open D to open uh, to third fret on the A the next time you're gonna go um, third fret on the D to open so that's basically the part the other parts are it's a cool chord it's a F major seventh chord so it's got that open E which is the seventh tone of the major scale that's why they call this F major seventh so it's an F chord, what we used to play in like this. But instead of the F up there, it's an open E. So if you play your F major scale, um, uh, hello, <laughs> sorry. It has that E note, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So instead of the, an F up there, it's playing the F, uh, E. <sighs> it's a long day. Anyway, so here we go. So it's F major seven. So it starts with an A minor. And it's just a simple strum. Down. So I'm just doing down, 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 up, up, down. So. And then I'll pick up strum up, down. Be the exact strum, but sounds good to me. But try that. Um, if you listen real carefully, you probably exactly hear what they're doing, which is pretty cool. Then um, the chorus, I guess, would be C, G, D minor to A minor. And then the second time, it's just going to hold down that D minor. So C. It's just, you know, a C chord to a G. I'm playing it like this with my pinky smushed on the bottom B and the uh, E string, third fret. Then I'm bringing this over for the third fret on the E, second fret on the A. You do that or do that, however you want to do it. And then D minor is not as a D, but we take that third note of the D and we put it on the first fret. In other words, the, the mi it turns a major third into a minor third. This is a major third. And it flattens that. That's how you get a minor chord. The third note of the scale. The third note of the scale is flattened. So, and that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure there's not, might be another part if I'm missing. 
make another video. Um, there, there's a lot of good tabs and chords out there. And one thing I did want to touch upon is the solo, which is really great solo. It's uh, very understated, which I, I appreciate. It's pretty cool. There's a resolution note at the very end. They go to the A minor chord and it ends on an A note on the 14th fret. So it starts out with an A up here. You could play it, sorry, that was a G, on the 10th fret. And in my opinion, what he's outlining is this F sharp minor chord, which is, oh, which is what's going on behind the solo. Like I said, um, so anyway, so I, I'll go over those chords later. Hold on. 10th fret to 9th on the B to 9th fret on the E. And then the 11th fret's going to bend up and down. A little, little bend. You're bending it to this um, G sharp note. If you have a clip on tuner, you could use that to check, kind of check your note. Do it again. And then he's gonna kind of, kind of this is what's so cool about it. He softly hits that 11. So it's hitting that 11 kind of softly. And then he does a pull off, 11, nine, double hits the 11, and then nine on the D, 11 on the D, nine on the G, and then bending up and down, 11 up and down, and then to nine on the G, 11 on the G. I'll play that whole part. And then the next phrase. Got two little phrases there. Then he's back up to the, the, the motif, the intro thing. So he's going 10th fret on the B, 9th fret on the E, 12th fret on the E, to the 14th fret on the E. And I would play it like this. Get your first finger up there on the 14th fret. It's gonna be our new position for our um, F minor scale that he's playing so so you could play this up here you played a number of places he may have played it down here very possible but i'm gonna put this all up here on the 14th fret so 14 on the g 14 on the b to 17 on the b and then 14 on the bottom e And then back to 17, 16, oops, oops, sorry, 17, 16 on the E. So let me play that again. And then 17 on the bottom string, E. 17, 16, 14, 17 on the B. So and then the next phrase is 14, 17, 14, And then 17 on the B, 14 on the B. Now here's the cool part. He's gonna hit that 16 on the G and bend it up. And then hit that three times. I'll play that again. And don't forget that little 17, 14 he sneaks in there to get to. Now, the trick of that is you're, you're bending the, the G string up to match the unison note on the 14th fret of the B. If it sounds out of tune and your cats are running. Bring it up into tune. Um, after three of those, So 17, 17, 14 on the B to 14 on the E string. And then 17, 14. That's your last part. So. So. 
So 17, 14, 6 on the B, 16, 14 on the G. And then the final part is 17, 15, 14, and back to where we started technically is the A note on the G. It's up to you to determine whether he's playing this A on the 10th fret of the B or the 14th fret of the G. Sometimes you can hear a difference in the, the tone of the string and it'll tell you, oh, he's on the B string, it sounds thinner. This one sounds thicker. Same note, but a uh, different tone, if you will. I, here's the chords for the underneath the solo. These are kind of important. <laughs> F minor, sorry, F sharp minor. So it's barring your first finger across the second fret and then adding your two fingers on the A and the D on the fourth fret. For a measure, F sharp. You do, you do that two times, and then it's going to go through this change B minor, D, A, to an E. A. And then it's back to F sharp minor to a D, and then it goes through that B minor, D, A, E change. And then it ends by going back to the intro. So, there you go. All right, hope this helps. Thanks, take care.